Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. And today, we're gonna cook Middle Eastern salmon with tomato, cucumber, and dill salad. It's Lunch with Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I cook quick and easy healthy meals, the same meals I use to lose 33 pounds in just four months. I went from this to this. And I wanna share these meals with you and the meals I still make to keep the weight off. I wanna show you just how easy it is to cook quick and healthy meals right at home. So I picked out this salmon recipe because it is always good to have just a really quick and easy fish recipe right on hand because you should be getting at least three to five servings of seafood a week just because it's so good for you. And salmon, oh, it's so filling and delicious. The ingredients you're going to need for this are two large cucumbers, one pint of cherry tomatoes, apple cider vinegar, fresh dill, salt, and pepper, one and a half pounds of salmon, one tablespoon za'atar, and one lemon. Now I have here salmon that has the skin on. You don't have to eat it. It'll come right off when you cook it. This beautiful salmon is from my butcher box, which I love. They have such good quality meats and it arrives right at your door, all super frozen, ready to go. Look at the color on this. And then I went to the store today. I won't say where. And I bought this wild caught salmon. I mean, I don't know. Look at the difference, like butcher box. This is actually one and a half pounds of salmon, but since I don't like to have leftovers, I'm just gonna cook enough for myself. This serves four. This probably would serve two. So I'm just gonna cook half the salmon today, and the other half I'm gonna save for another recipe. Or you could cook it all and then use the extra salmon to make my salmon burgers. Go follow the link right here to find where I have those salmon burgers. It's right there. They're really delicious. The first thing you wanna do is preheat that oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I already have my, my air fryer going in the background. I love this thing. You can totally find this now on my Amazon store. There's a lot of bad reviews on it I saw, but I love mine. It works perfectly. I think I got it at Costco, not on Amazon. So maybe that's the difference. I don't know. It's been working great. I'll let you know if it ever poops out on me. It's a little loud, but I've, heard some louder ones too. And it's mainly because I have stuff on top. So I have it on the bake setting and I have a pan here lined with foil. Here, now it's lined with foil. I'm just gonna stick my salmon on here and there's no oil or anything on this. So I'm just gonna sprinkle my za'atar all over it. I got this for my bread and I had no idea I was gonna be using it for salmon. But I'm going to do the front and the back. Now, I am going to season this a little bit more with some salt and pepper. And then just a little bit more of this. That's gonna cook up nicely in our oven for, oh, it doesn't have a time. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for probably about 10 minutes. It says till the internal temperature is 145 degrees Fahrenheit, but I think I'm just gonna do like the normal that I normally do is like nine to 10 minutes. So yeah, it's gonna go in the oven. And that gives us just enough time to whip this salad up. This is so easy, you guys. Anybody could do this. Where's my chopper? So I'm gonna go ahead and make the salad for four because, I mean, who wouldn't want to eat salad all week? Cucumbers and tomatoes. Hello. It's perfect. So I'm just gonna slice up the cucumber. What I like about these English cucumbers is you don't have to skin them. Skin them, why do I keep saying skin them? What I like about these English cucumbers is you don't have to peel them or seed them. So beautiful as is, I just give them a quick rinse after I take the plastic off. Just dump them in the bowl, slice up the other one. Probably a little bit more than four cups, but like I said, you can snack on this throughout the week. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up these cherry tomatoes. I like to keep all my tomatoes, grapes, blueberries, strawberries, all that in a mason jar. It, it keeps them from molding and it makes them last so much longer in my fridge. When you rinse them, take them out of those little plastic things and stick them in a mason jar. Let's see, should I quarter them or have them? These are so little, I think I will just, kind of like the idea of quartering, make them spread out more. Uh, I'm just gonna have them. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much work. We want this quick and easy. We only got like nine minutes to throw this together. Six minutes left on my timer. We'll see how that salmon is after nine minutes. 
Man, this one is really fast. Super stoked. Salmon is one of those dishes my son always eats. He loves it. But he's always been a fish eating baby. Like, I made these fish tacos one time with cod and I had no idea if he was gonna eat them. And he scarfed them down. Like they were going out of style. I couldn't believe how fast he ate them. I was like, who is this child? No, I knew he was, he, my kid eats everything. <laughs> he probably hates that I'm talking about him. Oh well, Luke, deal with it. So I'm just gonna chop this quarter cup of fresh dill. I almost did not go buy fresh dill. I almost went with the dried dill, but I, I love fresh dill. I think it's important. Still mad that I killed my dill plant last year. I'll buy another one this year for my garden. Okay. I love these giant bowls. You can also find them on my Amazon store. Okay, dill gets everywhere. Don't do this for a date night. <laughs> and then salt and pepper, quarter of a tablespoon each. That's probably a lot. Pepper. And then a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some on here. And then with this awesome spoon, I'm gonna give it a quick toss. I think it could use a little bit more salt. And a little pepper. There we go, that's ready. And then we're just waiting on the salmon. Just about two more minutes, so I'm just gonna slice up my lemon to serve with my salmon. We've got two lemon wedges. Now the recipe down below is for four, but I'm only making enough salmon for two. All right, so my salmon's done. It's been in there for like 10 minutes and it's pretty thin, so it's all flaky already. You can see here, oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up. Get me some salad on here first. Kind of quite a bunch of veggies. Half your nine inch plate, just like that. Get this lovely salmon on here. Boom. Now that is gorgeous. I'm about to take some photos. All right, that was super quick and easy, you guys. Anybody can do this and eat healthy, right? And this is gonna be so filling. Mmm. Mmm. That was so simple and it tastes really good. I like this atar stuff. And then with these nice crisp veggies. Mm. So fresh. Oh yeah, get that lemon on there. Totally forgot about that. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, the lemon takes it to another level, y'all. Oh, don't forget the lemon. Mm -hmm. So super quick, super easy salmon dish you can do right at home. Quick tip. It is super easy to thaw out your salmon just right before dinner if you don't think about it a day ahead and stick it in the fridge. If you stick it in the sink and fill out the sink with some hot water and let them sit there for like 10, 15, 30 minutes, they will thaw and it'll be easy to bake them or you can just bake them from frozen a little bit longer. I think it takes like twice as long. That was a quick tip. Definitely try this meal out. A nice little quick go-to meal that you can make right at home, stay on track with your health goals, and keep the weight off. If you like what you see and you wanna help me make more content, please consider supporting me. There are three ways. You can shop at my Amazon store, link is down below. You can consider buying me a coffee at coffee.com slash lunchwithlisa, or you can join my Patreon. You can watch my videos a week ahead of time, just for $5 a month. Patreon.com slash lunchwithlisa. And as usual, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the flip side. It's lunch with Lisa. This is so fast. All right. I did not realize this was gonna take me like 10 minutes. Like seriously, if you're in a time crunch, throw some salmon, some za'atar, cut up a lemon, cut up some cucumber and tomato, like so easy, so easy. All right, I'm gonna finish my dinner and um, you guys can stick around for any bloopers I might have. Oh, don't forget the bloopers.
Thanks for tuning in. Oh, there's a, your first blooper. Like, <laughs> woo. Peace out. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I'm here to cook. No. And I have already have a salmon recipe for you. <laughs> If there's that recipe, you can find that right there. <laughs> okay, so, right? Is it there or is it there? I always get this, oh, it's here. It's definitely here. Okay. Um, four, four cups of sliced cucumber. I have these two English cucumbers here. They're pretty big. I think we'll get four cups out of these. I mean, right? <laughs> okay. So four cups of sliced cucumber. This serves four. I need to start over. Okay, start over. Salt and pepper. And one and a half pounds, not and. So the first thing you wanna do is, the first thing you wanna do is